That'll look great. Oh. All right. Um, in this example, the first thing that we're going to want to do, as I mentioned, is simplify. Um, I think it's the easiest. You could simply just multiply these, but I don't really want to multiply 9 times um, 24. Yeah, I could multiply it and then simplify it. I just don't really want to do it. And I, I know I can cube root. I can take the cube root of numbers. So the best thing to do is we could always factor 24 and see what number I'm multiplying by itself three times. So if I, if I simplify, if I factor 24, I do 12 times 2, 6 times 2, 3 times 2. So what I notice is really I'm multiplying 2 times 2 times 2, right? So I still have a 3 left over, but I can simplify the cube root of 24. Now rather than writing, rewriting this as a prime factorization, 2 times 2 times 2 is really what? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So I have 5 times the cube root of 9y squared times the cube root of 8 times 3 times y. All right, now, what I want you guys to notice about this, though, is when we're looking at this problem, I can't take the cube root of 9. I could take the square root of 9. I can't take the cube root. I can't take the cube root of y squared or 3 or of y. So what I already mentioned is I can take the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2. So that answer is just going to be 5 cube root of 9y squared times the cube root of 8 is 2 times the cube root of 3y. So now when you guys look at this problem, basically what I've done is I've simplified the cube root of 24y into 2 times the cube root of 3y. Now, if you guys remember from, my, from our notes, what we talked about, when you are multiplying radical expressions, it doesn't matter what's in the radicand. You simply just you can multiply them as long as the index is the same. So these are both the cube roots. So we can multiply 9y squared times 3y. And then the numbers outside the radicand, I can multiply as well. So 5 times 2 becomes 10. And that's time the cube root of two, 9 times 3, which is 27. And y squared times y is y cubed. Now, I could prime factorize these. Or hopefully, you guys remember, the cube root says what number multiplied by itself three times. Is there a number that's multiplied by itself three times and gives you 27? No. Three. Three. Uh, and what, number, what variable multiplied by itself three times gives you y cubed? Y. y. So therefore, I have 10 times 3 times y. And I can multiply the 10 times 3, which is 30. Uh, 